Okay, so you just downloaded um, Substance to Maya B-Ray. Um, this was originally written by um, Mustafa Sharif. Um, he's really talented. Um, if you want to check out his stuff, um, you should. Um, and then I have this, the documentation for V-Ray for Maya, and these are the guidelines that I followed. Um, you know, stuff like setting um, color space to raw, um, alpha is luminance, um, okay, so here we have the scene. just a couple of objects. Um, we can load the script. Substance to V-Ray version 3. Open it. Control A. Enter. Um, so this is really similar to uh, previous versions that were for Arnold. Um, if you've worked with that, it's exactly the same as uh, it is with V-Ray. So, um, so let's start out with one single object that we're going to export to Substance. Um, I'll call it Up substance. New project. Cylinder. Um, let's just paint something on here. Give it a smart material. Export. Oh, okay. So one part um, about these uh, single objects in uh, Substance Painter, it'll automatically name it to default material. Um, in uh, Substance Painter uh, 2017, you can actually rename this. So let's rename it. I don't know what to rename it to. Um, so the cylinder is this name. Okay, you have to have the same name as the shader group. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. And then export it.
is what we get. Um, so it says cylinder, cylinder, SG, underscore, diffuse. So this is the shader group. This is the con connection for diffuse, glossiness, height, IOR, normal, and reflection. Okay, so let's go back to Maya. Okay, here we are in Maya. Um, I'm going to run the script. And I got the shader selected. Let's go to the hyper shade. Select the material. Oh, wait, before I do that, select the file path and the channels I want to connect and create. And if you look at each parameter, alpha is luminance, set to raw. Raw alpha is luminance. Alpha is luminance raw. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and move on to FBX. Okay, so if you select all of them and export them as an FBX, then you can have separate shader groups in the same file, uh, the same scene in um, Substance Painter. So let's do new project and V-Ray test. And let's open it and let's just Add some materials. Okay, so this is part where it gets so these side by side okay so if you go to each shader group um, this is what the texture is going to be named for the sphere. So you need to change these materials to the actual um, shader group name.
so on. Um, so these um, put, output a texture with this channel in it. Um, and then uh, the script reads that channel or that shader group and then plugs in the appropriate channels. So um, it, it gets kind of messy because the FBX switches the shader group with the material. So, um, so let's export these textures. Folder. Uh, look at the detail. Okay, so each uh, shader group has diffuse, glossiness, high IOR, normal, and reflection. Um, that's why it was important to change the, these names because this is looking for the shader group and this is looking for the channel. And that, that's how the script works. So let's go back to Maya. And we can select all these. Open up Hypershade. And make sure we're selecting the shaders, not the shader groups. And the script. find the file path and select the channels and hit create and that's a lot of textures to plug in so cuts down a lot of time um, thank you